you have had quite the you, you've been in the industry for a very very long time yeah but like i'm gonna call it like the second incarnation of your career right i believe it was like december 2018 you took a business trip to san francisco That's right. and at the time you were working for the jackson family That's right. and there were a few events that seemed kind of pivotal to like where you're at today you kind of want to go into that a little sure. bit and yeah, explain? Yeah, it's a great point because it was kind of the, the thing that kind of got me started. I'd really enjoyed my time at the Jackson family. I'd been there about 10 years. <clears throat> and I was uh, it was a trip down to San Francisco. And, um, you know, I had been contemplating. I had knew that, you know, some of the stuff that we had done with Lytle Barnett had been incubating for a number of years. We knew it was kind of coming online. So there was always already some thought that I had on, you know, what is the next step and Who's going to run it? Who's going to do it? And, you know, I looked in the mirror and it was just me looking back at myself. So I was like, okay, we got to start thinking about that opportunity. Right. But in December of 18, on the trip down, um, the, the morning before I got on the plane, I got a phone call from a buddy of mine who I went to college with. And he had uh, let me know that he had been diagnosed with cancer, uh, pretty severe Um and his chances of survival were about 7%. So it was very shocking to me to think about, you know, my age at the time I was 48, um, you know, what's happening in my life and to think that I have a friend that's, you know, struggling to survive and thank right. God he did, which is an amazing survival. Right. Um, but we got down there uh, to San Francisco. I got down there and I was working with one of our reps in the San Francisco area. And I like to take them to lunch and not talk about wine or not talk about the business and just get to know them. And uh, I said, tell me something that's interesting that's happened to you in the last you know, six months. And she said, well, um, my grandparents were in the, um, I can't remember the name of the fire. That was Paradise the fire. Paradise fire. Yeah. And uh, I go, wow, tell me about that. And she said, well, you know, they're in their kind of early 70s. They're still in pretty good shape. But... Um, they were told to flee out of paradise. There's only one way in and one way out. So they got into their car and they started going and all the sirens and the fire trucks were coming back at them. And in the blowhorn, the police officers were yelling, get out of your car and run. Mm. So if you can imagine hearing that, right. it kind of choked me up. You know, I was right. thinking about, you know, what would you do if you heard that? And so they did, they got out of their car and they ran and they circled up into a, uh, a Kmart parking lot. Um, and uh, the grandfather went and asked a police officer and said, what should we do? And the police officer looked at him and said, hold on to your loved ones and pray. So, you know, hearing, it just makes me tear up even hearing it now. Right, no, I have goosebumps that, right now. You know, the, the mortality of it. And um, they ended up surviving, which was spectacular. Um, uh, had a great day that day. The next morning, I flew back out to fly back home to Seattle. And the news in the morning um, was that um, uh, Laverne from Laverne and Shirley, right? Right. Um, she, uh, you know, unbelievable uh, life she's had. Um, but, you know, she uh, survived brain cancer, survived stomach cancer, and survived, uh, she's type 1 diabetic. And I'm a type 1 diabetic. I'm 48 years old, and um, the news came out that she had passed away from complications of type 1 diabetes. And it just hit me so hard that uh, I started thinking backwards in my life that I was 48 years old. You know, I had just been in college, you know, 25 years earlier, uh, 27 years earlier, and I started thinking forward. You know, she passed away at 75 years old. And I started thinking, if I only have 25 years left to live, that's not a lot of time. I can remember that going backwards. So it just hit me, uh, almost like a thunderbolt, uh, to just say, I've got to move forward. I've got to, you know, I have a lot to do. Right. I don't have a lot of time, hypothetically, you know, with a type 1 diabetic di diagnosis. So um, I just started thinking, you know, about the vineyards and about the wine projects that were out there. And it just, uh, it was inevitable for me. Uh, I thought about it for the next few days. I called Barbara uh, right at the beginning of January and told her it was time. She totally understood. And it was at that day that I began the next chapter of my life. And I thought it was retirement, but I've never worked so hard my entire life, but I've enjoyed every second of it since that time. And that, that's wonderful. And that that is such a great story. And again, as I was you know doing a little bit of background, that mm -hmm. was 
seems like such a pivotal moment. Yeah, it was. It really was.